everybody, this is Kim with Health Motors, and today, actually, tonight, as you can hear, the crickets are making their noses and it's dark out. Um, I just want to make a quick video. I found something wrong with my tire, and uh, I've been noticing this noise coming from my tire. Almost like a, a rock was stuck in it, or maybe a nail. But today, I actually went down there and looked and found something a little, a little different than a nail. Definitely not a rock. It's actually pretty bad. I was surprised at how bad this thing looked. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to drive the car out. I already made a little line exactly where it was, so I'm going to have to pull the car up a bit. But I'll show you what it is once I pull it out. I don't know exactly what it is yet. There's a little rock that's stuck in there. These things get stuck in there and make noise too, but... Um, yeah. So... Update on the car as far as mileage goes. It's about 27,000 miles on the car. Um, looks like I got some old nicks in my wheels. I don't remember doing that. Could have happened from a car wash or something. Huh. Yeah, definitely never curbed these wheels. I don't know why they're looking like they did. Eh. Either way, I'm going to pull the car up and I'll show you guys what I found in the tire. It's actually still in there. I wanted to get it home before I took it out just to make sure that I don't have a slow leak or anything like that. I highly doubt I do. I don't think it's a slow leak. Usually like a nail will cause that, but the way this object's shaped, it would have leaked already, I believe. I just didn't want to take a chance. So let me, let me pull the car out and get that line lined up with preferably this area here. Looks like I'll have to drive forward about maybe like a foot and a half. Let's see. Now that, that right there is what I'm talking about. I have no idea what that is, but as you can see, it left a gash in the tire. I'm lucky it's not close to the sidewall, but I actually see in there pretty well. Let's get this thing out of here. Oh, that doesn't look good. Nothing. That holds a lot of rocks. Look at that thing. A little sharp piece of metal. A slight distinction like a razor blade. Hmm. Huh. Like a miniature razor blade. <clears throat> Looks like a box cutter. Something that was rusted a little bit. Definitely like a rusted piece of metal because you can see that it's kind of an une uneven surface or it was just beat up so much. But yeah, this is what caused that slash in the tire. I want to look inside there a little bit. Let's see. Ah, blind by light. I don't know if you can see that, but you can actually see some of the metal ribbing in the tire. So that's a really deep cut, and that's the only reason it didn't go way through is because of the metal ripping. If it hit any other kind of angle, it would have like went straight through that thing. So I'm going to have to see if this is safe or not to drive on. I might have to find a replacement tire, a used replacement tire somewhere. Let's see what the car looks like. It's a bit dirty, but you know, it's daily driven. Got some rust already on the subframe. But you know, gets the job done. This is actually the first time I looked underneath this car. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to do some research. 
All right, so I just brought that into the room uh, real quick. I want to just show you guys what it looks like against a piece of paper. I understand it might have been a little hard to see in my hand, but uh, let's just take a look at this thing real quick. See, this is the kind of junk you find on roads around here in the north northeast, um, especially after like a heavy rainstorm. This stuff could get like washed, washed out of its little area it's hiding in, and go near an intersection or somewhere it's it's really low. So if you ever go off like a median or something like that, or or onto there's some gravel, uh, your odds of picking this up increase because this stuff set tends to um, wash off the the middle part of the roads because the roads have a little bit of a pitch to them, so the roads are pitched off to the right hand side. So that's why you don't want to you know go around somebody aggressively because you can pick this stuff up a lot easier. Um, and you know it is just like a random occurrence uh you can't really think too much about it just because there is junk in the road there's always junk in the road i've seen like a piece of plow in the road glass glass isn't that big of a deal even though it can still get through your tire if it's done right i've seen sticks go through tires before uh so it just happens so if you guys enjoyed the content and my little cut tire i'd appreciate if you actually followed the channel and comment let me know what you've found in your tires in the past i've actually found a full rock in my old tire on the mustang with the r compounds it was a full rock like an actual pebble embedded into the tire and i had to dig it out i was like what the whole rock was in the tire but you know it's just that's what happens when you have a car so hope you guys have a great day hope you guys don't get stuck with a big cut in your tire like i did and thanks for watching